Hey guys, this was a very interesting, at least to me, post about a store championship. Now the prize, and you have to understand why this is so interesting, the prize is a lot. The prize is, depending on what you value it, a $300 or more card for the store champion. It is the Borderless Urza Saga. So it's a really useful card, plus it looks really great, and the secondary market is extremely, extremely high. With that being said, this card game store wants to charge $300. Yes, you heard me correct. Uh, these things, store champions, are normally like, like a $5, $10. I, I play them a lot. And the prizes are not, are just Wizards of the Coast. Basically, in my Odin days, as a outer statement here, statesman here, uh, we would get a playmat. It would be like, oh, you're the champion of the store's playmat type of scenario. I guess they're giving a shit ton of better prizes now. <laughs> I don't know. Do you still get the playmat? I assume that you still got that. That's what we really fought over. The promos were not great. The promos were not great, and I don't think anyone was really after the promos, at least from what I could tell. But yeah, you fought over the playmat, and the playmat would say like store champion. Now they got $300, $350 promos. That's pretty crazy in my opinion, and that's definitely something where, you know, obviously people are going to post it. There are people who go store to store, they're not locals, and they just compete, and they just win these play, uh, promos to sell online. I think that's what the store is trying to prevent. They're trying to make sure that the promo goes to one of their local players, rather than a poacher or what, I mean, grind. I guess they're called grinders. Grinders, yeah, <laughs> grinders, right? Pretty interesting idea, and something where you you have to be very careful because at the end of the day, you have, you know, you have people who, you sh should a store be charging this amount of money? I don't think so. Uh, I do not think so. Should a store be charging $300 for this? I, I get why they are doing it. Um, I do, but at the same time, it's not, something they should be doing. It's against Wizards of the Coast policy. And the promo is a gift from Wizards of the Coast. So as interesting as this would be, it would be also something where I would even imagine that there are people who go from store to store. They're not locals. They have better decks. They might be more competitive than your local scene. And that's it, right? That's it. Uh, they are people who are not going to support the local game store. They are uh, people who basically it's a one and done type of thing and they will not return. So again, uh, I would probably say that in terms of whether or not the store is wrong or right, um, the store is probably, in their opinion, doing it to help their local game store, uh, their players. But um, they're probably wrong in this from a the point of view of Wizards of the Coast. That's what I would say. Anyway, back to the interesting scenario that has what do you guys think about it let me know in the comments below i think yeah i get why they're doing it they're not actually expecting you to pay three hundred dollars right they're, they are expecting you to not not play at all and that's that's what they want they don't want you to play and win and then everyone feels bad you guys know who I'm talking about. These are really smelly players. These are really, really smelly players, right? And yeah, they are the type of players that 
uh, only are there to make money from the game. I don't think they really add that much to the community, in my opinion. Uh, I would probably guess that in terms of longevity, um, yeah, they're only there and they're super competitive. Your locals might be very casual. They're local. They're not super casual. They're going to go for defroat and then just smash you over and over again. And then won't be fun for your locals. It actually creates a really dire situation where no one's having a good time. And this event is just catering from people outside who are not going to support your store. anyway. So as a store owner, I get it. Um, now what they're doing is of course against policy. So therefore Wizard of the Coast, the one providing the prizes, you probably pull back the prize and say, you know what, we're not going to give you, we're going to cancel your WPN. I'm sure this guy has re reposted it, but I've seen this happen and it's, it's pretty sick, right? Um, I've seen this happen where it's a bunch of local players and then like eight grinders come in and they're rude, they're arrogant, they're complete douchebag losers, honestly. Uh, if I had like, um, Man, if I if I thought about it, I probably should have recorded them. It's really hard. They they uh like go into the bathroom together. It's just so bizarre to sit on their cars together. They're they're like complete losers. I, I know the type. Um, I know the type of individual that this store is trying to prevent. Uh, they go, they hop in a car, and they do one game day after another game day after another game day. They angle shoot. They cheat many times, right? And because like they have their friends around them, they feel like, oh, well, I, I can cheat and no one's going to call me out because I have seven friends here to back me up. Uh, so I know exactly what type of person this store is trying to prevent. And I know exactly. But at the same time, it's really, there's nothing the store can do. It's really a, you know, it's really a issue, I would say. It's really an issue of uh, Wizard of the Coast doing this more than anything at all because it's their prize. They should not make a prize this competitive. If it was just a playmat, I think you're good to go. I don't think there's going to be that much competition. Um, I think you're good to go. Um, but if it's a $300, $350 card... Uh, yeah, you're going to have this type of problem, and it's not the type, and, and it's not the first time they've dealt with this problem. They have cryptic command, and that one also had this type of problem. Yeah, pretty uh, fascinating, no?